Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm doing this video with my sidekick. Say hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's here. I figured it would turn out much better. Yesterday felt kind of gloomy to do it without him. I've gotten used to him being here, and, and his face... If you could see his face some days. <laughs> oh, you know what? I want to change my glasses. You know why? You know, I broke my glasses. I'm sure some of you may have noticed. I put a little piece of tape here. I did glue them, but I'll put those on instead. I'll ch uh, I wanted to change them because here you can have those. Because that tape actually shows when I'm, when I was, I noticed it yesterday. Well, we're going to revisit the topic of toilet paper, as you can <laughs> see. I brought, I brought the toilet paper in. And if you remember, the Aldi's, I, I took it out already, the Aldi's brand, this is the Aldi's brand, and this is the Scott brand. The Aldi's brand was, was smaller as far as the circumference of it, like... I don't know if I can show you. You'd have to, I don't know if you see that. I can't tell what you can see, but it's smaller. So what I did, what did I do? I wanted to know whether, which one was a better buy, because they're both a thousand sheets. So I had to use up the toilet paper on the, on the Aldi kind, because I had used up the Scots before, because I wanted to weigh the core. And, um, I also wanted to weigh some of the sheets to see. And when you touch the sheets, I, I've got the cores. I actually have the cores. This one's an Aldi core. And this was a Scott's core. And then I put 10 sheets of paper on my little scale. This is softer. The Aldi's is actually softer. I like the feel of the Aldi's better. And this is 10 sheets of the Scott's. And it's, it's rougher. It doesn't feel as nice. Okay, well, now, what I did is I, I weighed, remember, I weighed the rolls, and my numbers, I think they come the right direction. Um, I think on your camera it does. I yeah. think it does. So I can't read it because I can't see with these glasses. <laughs> What's the, the Scott roll weighs? 550, 5.50. And the Aldi's roll? 6.35. Okay. Now, what, now, what did you use? I to... used ounces for that. Okay. okay. And then I I weighed the, what was the next? Core. The core. I weighed the core, and the core was done on ounces also. And that was... Scott is 0.15. All these, 0 0.20. Okay. Then I was trying to weigh the 10 sheets, and because the 10 sheets doesn't weigh very much, I went to grams, and they both weighed one gram. But when you subtract the core from, subtract the core from the actual roll of toilet paper, I ended up with this number for the Scots. 5.35. And this number for the Aldi. 6.15. But I don't understand because the Aldi's is still this much difference in... 0.8 when you, heavier. When you, when you figure it out. So I'm trying to figure... Do you, how, can you tell me why that's so? I have no idea. But um, the, the Aldi's paper is still a better buy because it was um, still a thousand sheets. And it was two dollars and five cents cheaper than the Scots. So I will continue to buy the Aldi's, even though Scots has had me for many years. I'm going to switch to the. I'm going to switch to Aldi's. There you go. You can take my whiteboard, and I will clean it off so that those numbers don't get glued in. Because when I started with the board, it was July fifth, two thousand and ten. And I remember, I had to look up the year my mother passed away. That was when she passed away, 2010. And that was when we drove the motorcycle the first time to Florida. It was a really good trip. And I remember um, I watched Dave, the um, something van. I don't know what his name is. Um, 
ghetto van, I think it is. I don't know, I watched him. And he was washing his car in one of the car washes. And we were so hot, so hot. I think we were in Georgia, maybe? Somewhere down Somewhere there. in Somewhere in Georgia. And there were no trees, and we couldn't find shade anywhere. So what did we do? We parked inside one of these um, car washes for a little while just to cool off. Ate a Georgia peach. Oh, they were so good because we had bought some peaches along the way. They were fresh, yes, they were. It was that in season when we got them, so they were really good. Um, I'm also gonna show you a little video of the chickens again because I went outside. Jim went, and I'm gonna show you this too. It's a trailer load of wood chips. Hi girls. Jim went and got me some leaves. So or wood chips I mean, not leaves, wood chips. Oh, there's a crow. Starting to see some birds. Look at all these beautiful wood chips. This is for my chickens to put on. He's getting the tractor so that he can oh, put them in there. He'll probably have to take one of the panels down. And I'm going to show you the chickens. Hello there, everybody's coming out to see what the heck I'm doing. It's cold outside. I don't have a coat on. I just have my big sweater. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven are inside. I don't count the rooster, he's number 12. But it's so cold and my fence is down. He's gonna probably roll over the fence to... Ooh, it's cold out here. I should put my... Oh, he's doing his duty. Yes, sirree. My brother asked if he was. I guess he is. Hi, girls. I won't come too close because I don't want them to fly over the fence. Fence has moved a little bit because he's gonna probably roll over it. Oh, it's cold. I think I'm gonna go in and wait for him. Let me see if I can get any cold. Oh, don't you go out, little brownie. You stay in here. That's a good girl. Oh, she wants to go out. Gotta stay in. Hi, Jake. You, you're out to do your business too, I'm sure. And you're gonna see my broody hen again and Louise. Let's see, is she, oh, she's sitting on her nest. Good girl. Hello, Louise, you need to go and enjoy life too. You're so silly. And hello there, Silver Fox. You are so darn good at sitting on your eggs. I'm glad. Look at you, you're so pretty. You need to, oh, hello. What you gonna do, huh? Oh, you're going back in. Okay. <gasps> now, Louise, I forgot to stop. Oh dear, I forget to stop sometimes. Cause I wanna, I wanna leave myself little gaps so that I can insert these because it's hard to insert. I don't know, I'm not real good at this. But um, Louise is going to be rehomed. I was, I had called my brother and he said that if the rooster is doing his duty, which he is, <laughs> in fact, I think I catch him on video doing his duty. Um, as long as he's getting along with all of the other girls and he's good to me, that Louise is the one that probably should be rehomed. So I'm rehoming Louise because she really is, she's not laying eggs right now. She's too stressed and she can't stay in the little house all the time. I stand outside while the other hens are eating so that she will come down and eat and she eats for a little bit and then I give her some in her little house along with because I feel like she didn't eat enough. And then, um, she might come back down. Today she didn't come back down. Today she stayed up there. So she's going to be rehomed today. 
but I do have a little video of her and I'm talking to her in her well she's in the enclosed area because she won't come outside and you'll see Brownie trying to escape <laughs> sort of and then Jim went out to put the fence back up and she did escape but then I let her back in they are so afraid of him he goes into the fence and they all go crazy when I go into the fence they all come running for food when he goes in I don't know what he's going to do when I go to Florida because he's going to have to take care of them they will probably scatter or they'll either get to like him because he's going to be there for a, a good I think it's five days I'm gone days, yeah, I think so done. Yeah. They, they might see me as food. Food, and then they won't be so afraid of you. Hopefully. I'm hoping. They say chickens can recognize 200 and some faces. So <laughs> they'll get to recognize his face. Hopefully they don't forget mine. And, you know, I'm running out of stuff, So and it's done. <laughs> I guess we're done for today. I hope you enjoyed the day. We, uh, we actually don't have rain today. And well, it was sprinkling a little bit when I was getting the wood chips, but very little. little. Well, not enough for me to notice, and the hens never came in because of the rain. But it's muddy out there, so when we get the um, pallets down, pine pallets. or pine pallets down, then we're going to put the wood chips on top of that. So the pine pallets will suck up the moisture, we're hoping, because it's really mushy out there. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye.